Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Megan and I'm the lead spiritual advisor for the Relationship Psychics. I'm really excited because today we are gonna be doing a pick a card reading on what a specific person on your mind secretly wants to tell you. But before we get started with that, I just wanted to say how grateful I am to have this amazing community here on YouTube and the spiritual family of love and light. If you haven't yet joined our little YouTube community, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell as well so you don't miss when we upload a brand new video or go live. Also, I have some really exciting news for you guys. So we just released a new app called Mystica where you can actually come on and chat with me, Court, and the rest of our psychic team. It's really an amazing way that you can get private one-on-one -on -one chats with our psychics. So if you're interested in that, we are right now doing a special promo, giving you $5 worth of credit. So all you have to do is hit the link in the description box down below and download it, and you can chat with me today. All right, so before we get started today, I just wanted us to take a few moments to really open ourselves up to the will of the divine. So what is it that the divine really wants to tell us in this reading and in this moment? So I invite you now to just take a deep inhale, inhaling and taking in all that positivity and light energy and to exhale, releasing all of that negativity and tension that you've been holding onto throughout the day. Now just really open yourself up and open up your chakras to the message that the divine wants to convey to you in this moment. Remember, this is a timeless reading, so whatever message you receive today is the message that you have always been meant to receive in this moment. As you really open up yourself and align your energy to this reading, I direct you to look at the three cards I have laid out in front of me. Do any of these cards really stand out to you or call to you in any way? Just remember to really trust your intuition here. Trust that the universe will guide you to the message and the card you are meant to receive. Is it card number one, card number two, or card number three? It could be a different card that really just stands out and calls to you, or a crystal, or anything that really lights up your intuition. It's so important to just trust that fully and trust that you will be directed to the reading that you have always been meant to receive. So take as much time as you need in this moment to really allow yourself to meditate and open up to which reading is speaking to you. Feel free to pause this video and whenever you are ready, I have the timestamps located in the description box down below so you can jump to your particular reading. Anyways, I am so excited to embark on a spiritual journey with you today and get started. All right guys, here we go. All right, so for all my friends who chose card number one, this is your reading today on what this person secretly wants to tell you. So what is it that this person wants to express to you, but maybe they're afraid to do so, or maybe there's something preventing them from really doing so and expressing this to you. So the first card that we chose is the Rose of Venus. So this card symbolizes alignment, flow, right relationship and harmony. So to me, this is already really indicating that they feel right when they're with you. They feel as if, the two of you just really flow well together. It's as if you guys have this natural chemistry and this natural alignment between the two of you. And it's almost as if they feel like if you were to be in a relationship with them, it would be amazing. You would really bloom into this rose, this rose of Venus. And there's just so much natural harmony between the two of you that to me, it's already really indicating that they secretly want to tell you that it just feels right when they're with you. It feels as if the two of you have been destined to come together by something greater. And they really feel strongly about this, but there is something that's preventing them from really expressing this to you and really expressing to you that they have these romantic feelings. There's something that again feels so natural and so right for them when they're with you, but at the same time, they are a little bit nervous. They are a little bit unsure but it's not that they're unsure of the connection that the two of you share because they feel like it is completely right. It's completely meant to be, but they're almost unsure of your reaction is what I'm really sensing here. But let's pull a few more cards and kind of get a better understanding on 
what it is you know they're secretly wanting to tell you and what it is that this connection that they're holding for you and these feelings are really telling us so i'm just going to shuffle this deck here and really just you know allow the universe to speak through these cards so i'm actually already feeling drawn to this card as i shuffle so let's see what this card really shows us so this card is wow this card is fall into my arms so it says surrender holding the opposites extremes of life so there's a lot of things that i feel like this is already really conveying to me so i feel as if they secretly want to tell you like they want you to be in a romantic relationship with them they want you to trust them and really fall for them they they are falling for you they've fallen for you okay they have completely fallen head over heels for you they feel like you are the right person they feel right when they're with you and like they're exactly where they're meant to be whenever they're with you but they almost feel like you know they want you to surrender to them they want to surrender to this feeling and it's almost as if like they themselves are afraid to fully surrender they themselves are almost kind of afraid to fall further in love with you or at least to really pursue these feelings deeper because even though they feel so right when they're with you they feel like they are exactly where they're meant to be and they feel like this relationship would be something very beautiful because there is this beautiful beautiful harmonious dynamic between the two of you they also feel like there is this opposite level of attraction between the two of you. So it's almost as if you two are extremes, like one of you is kind of more so a positive to the other's negative. So you guys balance each other out in that beautiful way, just as you know, masculine and feminine energies balance each other out. You may have traits or you may be opposites in some ways, but that only strengthens the attraction, not only on a physical level, but also on a spiritual level as well. So your soul connection is even that much stronger because of the opposite characteristics and traits of the two of you. But at the same time, it really almost overwhelms. So they feel slightly overwhelmed by just how powerful this connection is between the two of you. And they feel as if they are wanting to hold on to you, they're wanting to fall into this relationship with you, but they're almost afraid to surrender themselves. And they're afraid that you yourself won't surrender to them. Again, because there has been conflict, there has been this karmic relationship energy between the two of you where things have been very, very passionate, but very positive and negative, very opposite, but also very strong. So they feel like there's such a strong dynamic, such a strong connection, and the two of you balance each other out. But this can also cause a little bit of fear to be vulnerable on one of the sides of this relationship so either they themselves feel as if they're afraid to really let go and to fall into your arms and that's why they have been holding on to the secret and that's why they haven't been telling you or they feel as if you may be afraid to surrender in that way they may be scared and still holding on to the secret of their feelings because they're afraid that you will reject them so that's kind of what i'm already really sensing in this reading so far so let's shuffle this next deck and kind of get some more clarity on this person, on what they're feeling for you and what they're secretly really harboring for you. As we can see from these other two cards, I already feel like I have a pretty strong understanding of what's going on, but I'd love to even give us some more clarity here. So the next card that I just, oh my gosh, okay guys. So the next card that I just picked is clarity which is funny because i just mentioned clarity and it literally says let me trust my deepest instincts in all ways especially when matters are unclear may my own holy intuition always guide the way so this is really crazy because it completely completely applies to this reading this person this person feels in some ways that you are their deepest instinct they are so drawn to you naturally they feel such harmony and they feel like you are the right person you are the right aspect of this dynamic and they feel it in their intuition and in their heart but it's almost as if they are so afraid of either you rejecting them or them really surrendering and being vulnerable in that way that that is what is getting in the way of their own clarity for you so it's like what has really gotten in the way because you know what has really caused the matters to be unclear is 
that they aren't necessarily listening to their true intuition, to their true soul. And instead, they're allowing this fear to really overtake the dynamic and the connection between the two of you. So they're really allowing the fear of rejection or the fear of being vulnerable to really take control and keep these feelings that they have for you secret. So that's kind of what I'm sensing already, that they really need to allow the universe to guide them to their inner light and to their intuition, which is very, very true in that they have this deep, serious connection and feeling for you. So that's really already what I'm feeling. Again, it's not very clear for them, so it's almost as if they need that clarity because in some ways it is so clear, but fear is what's clouding their judgment. Fear is what's clouding them from being honest and being open with you. So let's pull another card here for this reading. I'm feeling called to do so, and we'll just shuffle these cards and kind of get a better understanding of this person. Like, what is this person secretly wanting to convey to you that they're feeling a little bit scared or having this fear of really telling you how they're really feeling? So, ooh, okay, so we pulled Inner Earth which is interesting because it says you'll survive this new solutions and beginnings. So this card really applies to this reading and that this person is so afraid to embark on this new beginning with you. They are so afraid to tell you that they want this new beginning. They want a relationship with you. They want to really deepen the connection, deepen the commitment between the two of you. And they're afraid, however, they almost have this survival kind of instinct going on with them. They feel as if they're afraid to be vulnerable or they're afraid to be rejected. And that's what's keeping them from really expressing to you these feelings. So they almost need to know that they will survive this, that it will be okay. So what I would almost do in the situation, I'm really feeling called to tell you here in this reading today, is to really communicate to them and really allow them to feel safe in expressing like how they feel because they do have these feelings, but they either are scared that you will not soften up to them or that they themselves are scared to be vulnerable. So just really give them the opportunity to express themselves, to communicate and to feel safe in this relationship and in this dynamic. And once they feel safe, once they feel like there's that open and solid trust and there's that open and solid communication between the two of you, things will flow. Things will be, there will be a lot of harmony between the two of you. There will be this beautiful alignment. There will be this right relationship and there will be this harmony. And I really believe that that can be the potential of this connection with this person if you really allow them the opportunity to have the clarity that they need in order to communicate with you. So. I would really just reach out to them and be open, be honest, and give them that safety. Give them that safety that they're yearning for. Because again, they have this survival instinct within them. You know, this card, Inner Earth, says you'll survive this. So it's almost like their root chakra is off balance because they feel very scared of being vulnerable. They feel very scared. They feel like they're not safe in this connection. They feel that even though it is right, even though it is clear that this could be such an amazing potential relationship, they're so scared for that root chakra feeling of being vulnerable, being open, being exposed, and they fear rejection, they fear being hurt. So just give them that safety, give them that reassurance that they need in order to allow them to really express their secret feelings for you. So. Anyways, I feel like this really told us a lot today and I really hope that you enjoyed this reading. Again, I would love it so much if you would subscribe and like this video and also comment down below if this reading really resonated with you and which card you chose because I always love to know. Another reading that I think you will really enjoy is the one that I linked at the top of the screen right here, which you can check out next, which I think will be a very, very insightful reading for you. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much. I love you all so, so much, and I can't wait to see you until next time. Bye, guys. All right, so for all of my friends who chose card number two, this is your reading today on what this person secretly wants to tell you. So what is the message that this person secretly wants to convey to you, but they may be afraid. There may be some external factors or something that's really causing them to avoid telling you how they feel. So. 
The first card that we pulled is the Fertile Void, which shows inner winter, rest, patience, potency, secret beginnings. So this is actually very, very interesting. So what I feel like this card is actually telling us here is that they have these feelings, they have these intense, intense desires for you. But at the same time, it's almost like they are feeling like they need to be patient because they feel as if this is somehow a taboo relationship. Like this relationship for some reason would not look good. Maybe it's other people in their life, maybe it's friends, maybe it's family, or maybe they're involved with someone else. There's some reason here that they feel as if they need to keep this secret. So it's like they have this secret desire, this secret relationship that they want to bloom, just as you know, the card shows us here, it shows her breathing underwater. So it's like the secret she's harboring within herself. So this person is having these secret, secret feelings, secret whispers, feeling like they need to be patient, like they need to be hidden underwater. And it's really frustrating in a lot of ways for them. They feel very frustrated, just as when you are under the water, you feel as if you can't breathe. That's kind of how this person feels. Like, they feel like they can't breathe because they want to be open with you and honest about these desires, these feelings that they're having, this attraction. But at the same time, they feel like there's some reason, there's some external factor at play that is really preventing them from being open, from being honest, and causing them to continue to keep this a secret, not only from you, but from others. I have a very deep sense here already that this person feels like they need to keep how they feel about you a secret for various reasons. Maybe it's because of work or maybe it's because of family or friends. There's something that's really getting in the way of them being open and honest about how they feel. So that's already very, very apparent. And they want, you know, they're conflicted in the way that they wanna be open and honest, but they feel like they have to be patient. They have to wait this out before they can tell you how they feel. So let's, shuffle this deck here and kind of get a sense of what else we can really take from this reading today. So I'm going to just shuffle these cards here and we can see what this person really wants to convey to you in this moment and you know what they secretly are feeling, what they're secretly wanting to tell you. So I'm actually already feeling very called to this card. And let's see, this card is the sacred water. So there's a lot of water theme here going on. And it says nourishment, replenishment, health, rest, self-care. So this is interesting. What I'm feeling like this is kind of saying here is like they feel very strongly like you are their water. Like you are the person that is going to really make them whole. You're going to be the person that's going to replenish them, give them this nourishment. But at the same time, they're so conflicted because as you can see from our first card, the fertile void, they feel like they currently are underwater. It's like they want you, they want this water, they want this nourishment, they want to be filled up from you. But at the same time, as they want to really be in your waters, you know, on many levels, maybe physical, maybe maybe emotional, maybe spiritual. They want to be exposed to your waters, but at the same time, they're like under your water because they're like scared to be open. They're scared to be honest. And they feel as if any beginning between the two of you needs to be secret. It needs to be kept at bay because in order to keep the peace and the peaceful waters of our second card, which is the sacred waters, they feel like they have to be under the water, okay? So, what this is really telling me right now is that they will only feel safe keeping this relationship and this dynamic with you a secret. And this could be a good thing, but it could also be a very negative thing. So I really want you to make sure that you really prioritize yourself here and only do what you feel comfortable with because that is very important because again, this person has these secret hidden motives for you, but there are things at play here that are really indicating to me that this would not necessarily be good coming to light. There are external factors at play that are really indicating that this should and maybe maybe it should remain secret. Maybe it should remain hidden and that might be a positive thing. But let's take a look at the next card and kind of get more clarity here on what is going on with this person and and what they're really feeling about you. What is it that they want to tell you? So 
I'm going to shuffle this deck here and we're going to hopefully get some more clarity on what's going on here with this person. So I'm actually already feeling drawn to this card. So let's see what this card has to say. This card, interesting. Okay, so we chose compassion. So it says, as you pray each day for greater compassion, a new self is born, drawing new people and experiences. Dear Lord, help me feel ever deepening self-acceptance. May I see myself as you see me. So this is interesting because to me, this is conveying a few things. This is conveying to me that they have secret passion for you. They have not just physical desire for you, but they have like actual compassion for you as a person. They feel when they're with you as if they themselves are like born anew. So it almost feels as if when they're with you, it's like you're this new person and they have been reborn through you. It's like just as the waters symbolize baptism and rebirth, it's like when they're with you, they feel like it's almost as if they are themselves being baptized in your presence. So this is kind of interesting too, because as our first card really shows us, them underwater and them trying to keep things secret, trying to keep things dark and really struggling to breathe because again, they are underwater. And in comparison to our second card, which is more so about the beautiful replenishing properties of water, we see in this card that they want to be reborn in you and in this connection. They want to feel life within you, but they're so afraid to do so. They're so afraid and they want to remain in the darkness. They want to really keep in this darkness, but have you at the same time. And that's what the issue is here that I'm really sensing. It's as if, you know, they feel so new. They feel so... They feel so happy when they're with you. They feel like a new person, but they're almost living a double life is what I'm sensing here. I'm very much sensing that for some reason they were trying to keep things a secret because of this double life, this double dynamic. And that's why they have these secrets that they aren't telling you is because they feel like they can keep it under the surface. They want to have you. They want to be with you. They feel new when they're with you. They feel so much you know happiness and joy in you and in your presence but at the same time there's a reason that they're trying to keep it under the surface they're trying to keep it at bay so that's really interesting and let's just pull one more card to kind of get a better understanding of what they secretly want to tell you so i'm just going to shuffle this last deck here and we can kind of get a better understanding on what this person secretly is wanting to tell you because I already feel like there's a lot of secret feelings going on, a lot of secrecy. They feel very nourished in your connection, but at the same time, they're confused. They're confused because there's something taboo about this relationship. So, oh my gosh. Okay, so our last card that we pulled for this reading is Trust the Niggle, which says, what is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? So this is interesting because I feel like what this is really saying here is that you know who this person is. You know in your heart and soul who this person is that has these secret, secret desires for you. And beyond that, it's very interesting because as you can see, this really gives us clarity as to why they're having to keep these things secret. Because do you see the triangle of three? There is you and then there's two others. So I'm seeing that there is some other dynamic, some other external factor in their life that's really preventing them from being open, from being honest with you. So, you know, maybe that's society, maybe that's friends or family, but there's something that's really, really keeping everything dark, everything hidden. That's really the energy I'm sensing with this reading is like a darkness, a dark energy, almost under the water. Like they're wanting the light that is you, but they're wanting to be filled with your thirst, but not have you necessarily because of these secret beginnings, but you know within your heart and soul who this person is. So I would really just advise you to be careful and to trust your intuition. Trust that you know who this person is. Trust that it will become clear to you in this reading today. And just to also keep yourself safe because if this person, you know, is harboring these secret feelings, these secret desires, just allow yourself, you know, the space you need because I do believe that you are a beautiful and caring individual. And I want you to always make sure to really keep the boundaries that you need in order to remain safe in these kind of dynamics. But it's a very interesting reading, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. 
and I would love it again so much if you can subscribe and like and also comment down below if you felt like this reading really resonated with you because I always love hearing if these readings resonate with you and which card you chose. Another thing is I also linked another reading up here at the top of the screen so you should definitely check out this reading next. It's really really fun and I think you will find it really insightful to watch next. Anyways, I had so much fun doing this reading with you guys today and am so excited to see you again soon. Bye guys, love you. All right, so for all my friends who chose card number three, this is your reading today on what this person secretly wants to tell you. So our first card is Mother Rose. So it says returning to each other, compassion and humanity. So this is interesting because for me, I really feel like this is showing us that this person almost wants to return to you in some way. So this may be an ex, this may be someone that you used to have a connection with and things have been distant lately. There's either been some physical or emotional distance between the two of you and between your connection and your relationship. So I really feel like this person secretly wants to tell you that they almost miss you in a way. They miss you, they miss your presence, they miss the light that is you and you are kind of like a rose in a certain way, right? You are the rose of their life. And I almost really already feel very strongly that this person feels as if they may have taken that rose for granted. Like they may have overlooked that and they just really want to return to the beauty and innocence and love that you really provide them and really are in yourself and in your soul. So this person, again, just really wants to tell you but they are afraid. They want to tell you that they feel so much passion in you. They feel as if you are that loving person. And when they're with you, they just feel so much love, so much passion and compassion with you. And they want to return to you, but they don't even know how to go about it. They don't know how to really admit and really talk about the issues that caused you to part in the first place. All right, so let's just shuffle one of these decks here and kind of get some more clarity on what this person is secretly wanting to tell you. What is this person secretly feeling about you? To me, it already really sounds like they want to reunite with you in some way, but let's kind of get some more clarity on that. So I'm already feeling really drawn to this card. Let's see, this kind of jumped out at us. This card is, okay, okay. So Imrama, which really symbolizes where are you being called to journey to? Wow, okay, so this provides me with a lot of insight here because this card really tells me that like they feel like they have journeyed, they have gone on a journey and they've realized that they miss home, okay? And you to them are home, just as the mother is home to us, right? The mother is the first person that we come into this earth with, right? Our mother. And that motherly love is just so, so valuable. It's the most pure love of all. And they feel that with you. They feel that deep motherly devotion, not necessarily in a motherly kind of way, but it's just a very deep, deep, deep connection they have with you. And they feel as if in that way, you are home to them. And they feel as if they themselves have kind of journeyed away from home. They've kind of strayed. They felt like, they were called to a journey and they went on this journey and now they're like, you know, I miss, I miss home. I miss this relationship, this dynamic that I had before. I miss where I feel that love, where I feel that compassion and where I feel that humanity that is you and that is the connection that the two of you share. So what it's really saying here is where are you being called to journey to and they're being called to journey back to you. But again, there's something that is causing them to keep this a secret. There's something that is preventing them from letting you know that they view you in this way, that they view you as home, as the mother rose. There's something that's preventing them from being honest to you about this. And maybe it's fear. Maybe it's fear of being rejected from returning home and returning to you. But there is something here that's really, really causing them to feel this way and to act in such a way. So let's shuffle this deck here and kind of get some more clarity on what this really means. This already to me is telling a lot here. It's very, very straightforward reading, very beautiful, but I'm wondering too, if kind of reflect on your own insight, if you kind of may know who this person is, who's wishing to return to you. So our next card we pulled here is interesting. So 
we pulled creative blocks. So this is kind of interesting because this card is really all about releasing from blocks and restrictions and, you know, really just submitting to the will of the highest good just really submitting to the universe. And what I feel like this card means in this way is it's kind of giving us clarity as to why this person is keeping this secret from you. So why it is this person doesn't wanna tell you that they miss you? Why is it that this person feels as if you are the mother rose, that you are home and that they've gone astray? Why do they not feel able to really tell you that they feel this way? And the reason that I'm really getting from this reading right now is that they feel blocked. They feel this block. They feel this restriction. They feel almost as if they can't communicate this to you. They can't really be and live in that truth because they feel as if you yourself will kind of block them. They feel as if they have this shame and they feel as if there may not be a home waiting for them once they return to you. So there's definitely a block. So if you do wish for this person to come back into your life, I would just really let them know that so they don't feel that block there any longer. They don't feel like you are a wall any longer keeping them from the connection that the two of you share, which is the mother rose. And instead they feel an opening. They feel a release and they feel that ability to really be true and authentic in this connection that they're feeling with you and really returning to you and feeling that compassion. So let's just draw one more card to kind of even further understand this and understand this dynamic. So let's see. So I'm actually feeling drawn to this card right here. So, okay, wow, okay, so this card is Portal which literally says doors are opening, you decide, rewards, wild card. That is so powerful right now because like, this is literally saying to me that you literally, it's up to you whether you want this person back in your life. Like they want to come home to you, they want to return to you, they want to return to the relationship and the connection that the two of you share. Like you are the mother rose to them, but they're afraid. They feel blocked off by this wall that's been put up. So literally this card is telling us right now that it is up to you whether you want to open the door to having them come back into your life. Like you are in control and the doors can be open. There can be a portal to having them journey back into your life if you are willing, you know? It's your decision. Like you have complete control on whether you want this person to come back into your life or not. So. Literally, this is such an amazing and powerful card because again, it's literally showing that you are in control. You can open the door for them through this wall, through this block that they're sensing in the relationship and the connection with you, but it is up to you. So what I would really do here is I would just take some time to pray, take some time to meditate on whether you want this door open, whether you want them to come back into your life because they want to, you know, they secretly feel this desire to come back to you. So it's completely you. You have control on whether you want to open this door to this relationship. Do you want to open the door and allow them back into your life? Or is it better just to allow that door to remain closed? Is it better for you to just really keep them at a distance? Really keep that door shut for now? Whatever is best for you. So I would again, take the time to meditate take the time to pray and really ask what is best for you, what is the will of God in this, and what you are being called to do here because it is completely your decision. Anyways, that is it for today's reading. I am so happy to have you join me today. And if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, definitely make sure to do so. Also, if you could give this video a like and comment down below which card you chose and you know whether it really resonated with you because I always love to hear if these readings are really resonating with you. Another reading that I think you will really enjoy is the one that I linked at the top of the screen right here, which you can check out next, which I think will be a very, very insightful reading for you. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much. I love you all so, so much and I can't wait to see you until next time. Bye guys.